So the the theme going around the internet is that uh, I I heard I'm hearing wild rumors all over the place. First off, Big Boss Man going into the Hall of Fame. Uh, that's going to be announced tonight, probably. Um, that's awesome. If anybody you know, whether you call him Big Boss Man, Big Bubba Rogers, Ray Trailer, whichever, he definitely deserves to go in. But my main thing about WrestleMania is they're not sold out yet, and we're less than a month away from the show. Um, you could still get floor seats. That's what's crazy. <laughs> um, NXT the night before sold out. I'm sure the Hall of Fame's gonna sell out. But WrestleMania, the biggest show of the year, is not sold out. And I'm wondering what could be the reason for that. Um, and obviously the, the the big reason is the booking. Um, WWE is they they got this roadblock special coming up, and a lot of people are going, "Is well, Dean Ambrose going to get the belt?" My best bet is no, because Vince McMahon is going to do like he always does. He's going to give the people what he wants. He has it already set in his head, folks. The way it's going to go down. The, he it's it it's been like that for the last. Golly, ever since The Rock cost John Cena the WWE title to The Miz that year at WrestleMania, I think it was WrestleMania 20, 29, WrestleMania, yeah, 28, 29, whatever it was, that is his mindset. That's the way it's going down. And the reason why I say that is because it, 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 that's the trend. I mean, no matter what WWE fans want from year to year, the only year that there was an exception made was two years ago when Daniel Bryan won the title. And that was because the fans started hijacking the shows to the point where it was unavoidable. WWE, if it had not been for Daniel Bryan, WWE would have had, you know, Roman Reigns win the Rumble, then Roman Reigns win the title, and... or whatever it was two years before it just it would have been that way um or no it was going to be Batista and Randy Orton excuse me it was Batista and Randy Orton and that's the way you would have had it and Batista would have won your world title and Batista would have been your champion Vince does not listen to us. And the sooner we realize that, the better off we are. Vince very rarely listens to us. He's listened to us one year of the last, what, four? I don't know, folks. I, I don't know what's going to happen here. I, I think that Roman Reigns is going to win the title. He's going to get booed out of the building both at WrestleMania. He's going to get booed out of the building in Dallas the night after Mania. And it's the same thing that I said last year. Vince McMahon knows that, okay, yeah, we're going to have a smart mark crowd here at Mania. Yeah, we're going to have a smart mark crowd the night after Mania. But the following week, or even two weeks after, or well, not even that. Yeah, we got to go on the European tour. But after we get back from the European tour, <laughs> we're going to go back to Terre Haute, Indiana, and Paducah to Kentucky and all those other hick towns and they're not gonna know any better. Ha ha ha. So I'll get the crowd reaction I want from my booking. Ha ha ha. He's not gonna hit major cities afterwards. I guarantee you Raw's gonna be like in Spokane, Washington or some stupid town like that. No offense to anybody living in Spokane, but you get what I'm trying to say. WWE is not going to hit major cities after the European tour because they want the casual fans to show up. They don't want the smart marks like us to show up. They don't want that crowd reaction. They don't want that crowd there. They want the soccer moms that they've been pandering to. And, and it, it kills me that they're going that route because here was the deal with the Attitude Era. And everybody says, bring back the Attitude Era. Well, here's what made the Attitude Era for me. One of the things that made it work was the sponsors that came along. You had a shit ton of sponsors come along. Um, so you had, you know, sponsors come along that would not normally have watched wrestling. I mean, you had Pepsi, you had 
Uggs shoes, JVC Kaboom Box, you know, all those crazy ass sponsors from the late 90s, early 2000s. Um, and the reason why those sponsors came along, those sponsors came to WWE. WWE did not have to go to them. And everybody goes, well, Joe, they don't want to piss off my tail. Heaven forbid the makers of Barbie should have to bitch about a little tit to Nash showing on the TV. Have you undressed a Barbie doll lately? <laughs> it's the most unanatomically correct thing you could possibly look at when it comes to a child's toy. Who cares? They can always go back to Jack Specific or some other toy maker. Well, Joe, they, they, they got this contract. Well, the contract probably doesn't state that WWE has to keep PG rating. Well, Joe, the PG rating's not the problem. No, it's not the problem. Yeah, you can do PG the right way and still be a little bit edgy and still attract the, you know, 18 to 34 demographic that they should be going for, that is their bread and butter, and that they're alienating right now. You know, they, they pushed the envelope just a little bit, and the ratings got so high that people failed to realize they were beating Monday Night Football but it's some Mondays back in the day. Now there is not a Monday that goes by where WWE beats Monday Night Football. It doesn't happen. You got Peyton Manning retiring today. Who the hell cares? Sorry, I can't stand the sport of football. Football to me is just as much of a work as pro wrestling is. But the pro the thing is with WWE is that put your product out there. Give the fans what they want and get your ratings and the sponsors will come along because once the sponsors realize, you know, the sponsors are going to be looking at their at their book and go, hmm, we bought a a 30 second spot here during whatever shows on Monday night you know the the Bachelor whatever bought a 30 second spot here in the Bachelor but I see their ratings are not doing too good as the wrestling show is over here the wrestling show got twice as many views as the Bachelor show did maybe we should buy a 30 second spot on the wrestling show maybe we'll sell some soda if we go there women's you know, come on now. Women has the the women demographic has doubled in the last two hundred years. More women now are watching pro wrestling than ever before. It's it's just the way it is. And and anybody who says any different, they don't know what the hell they're talking about. There is a strong women's fan base now, especially with the the golden age of independent wrestling that we're in. More women are going to independent wrestling shows. More women are getting into wrestling. The women's the divas revolution is causing pe women to pay attention a little bit, even though it's not being booked correctly. But hell, you know, uh, shampoo company number one could go. You know, we advertised our shampoo for a thirty second spot here on the Lifetime Channel, but the, the USA Network is getting double the ratings that the Lifetime Channel is. Maybe we ought to sell the shampoo over there for for women. You know, it's getting double the amount of women than the Lifetime Movie Channel is. <laughs> we need to focus in on these wrestling fans. It, if you build it correctly, they will come. You know? And then you have to maintain it. But getting back to WrestleMania, WrestleMania is not sold out. You can still get a decent ticket if you want to plunk down five hundred to twelve two hundred thousand dollars for a ticket. You can get a front row seat or floor seat, and that worries me. And I hope it doesn't sell out because WrestleMania is in this new AT and T stadium. They're wanting to pack a hundred thousand people in there and break the all time record. Blah blah blah. I hope it doesn't happen. Why? Because maybe, maybe this will thing be the thing to put McMahon on his ass. And there's another whole aspect of this thing of the free WrestleMania. The, the giving away Mania for free. This is the first year where if you get the WWE Network during the month of April, sign up for it. April is free. So they're giving WrestleMania away for free, guys. That's crazy. Your biggest show of the year and you're giving it away for free? The only response I have to that is that if you're going to give Mania away for free, and I know why you're doing it, to it, a Mania is free. There's nothing else on that day. You're going to try to bring everybody back. It's WrestleMania season. They do this every year, and it, it, it works without it. It works without giving it away for free. And I heard people like, you know, I, I heard people like Joe Cronin go on his show and go, I'm not watching it on the network because I'm going to order it anyway because the frame rate doesn't look as good on WWE Network. The frame rate. 
sorry, I, I I get so sick of hearing about frame rates when it comes to video games and everything like that. I don't buy a video game because it can run 30 frames per second or 60 frames per second on my computer. PC Master Race. I don't care about frame rates. It's free! <laughs> now, I will tell people a piece of advice. Hardwire your machine. If you're watching it on a PlayStation or Smart TV or whatever, hardwire that in. It does not work so good on Samsung Smart TVs. It works great on my PS4. A um, little bit of buffering issues every now and then, and sometimes it skips back and forth, but still, it's free. <laughs> And you you paying 60 bucks to watch it, it, it does put money in WWE's pocket, but it's not really what they want you to do. They want you to come over here, and they want you to put, you know, on their network, because it makes their network look good. And it give, it justifies the reason for having a network in the first place. But anyway, they're giving away WrestleMania for free. So that means only one of two things. Well, actually, it means both, Now that you think now that I think about it. They're going to have to do some holy shit idea at Mania to get these people who are paying WrestleMania for getting WrestleMania for free, these casual fans that they're trying to reach, everybody that they're trying to bring back under the auspices of the WWE, everybody that they're trying to bring back into watching wrestling again. That casual fan that's not going to watch every week like me and is not going to watch every other week like some people. They're talking, you know, and they tried to do this with Rock and Cena and it failed. Because they came out the next night and just seen it did poopy jokes. A little bit of heel turn. <laughs> Sorry. I'm glad he's gone this year. And I'm glad people... I'm, I'm, I love Randy Orton, but I'm glad he's out too. Because chances are, if Randy Orton was there, they'd be giving the belt to Randy Orton. You'd be seeing Roman Reigns versus Randy Orton this year at WrestleMania. I guarantee it. And Randy Orton would be the authority heel. He'd be aligned with the authority again, even though this time last year he was against them. But bottom line is you have to do something, WWE. You have to do a holy shit thing at Mania, which is not Roman Reigns winning the belt. And then the next night on Raw, you have to do, you have to pull out all the stops. You have to have big returns. You have to have good matches. You have to have continuation of storylines, which I am so sick of WWE doing this. Every every Monday after a pay-per-view, they do nothing to continue the story. They're like, oh, we could take a week off and just give them bullshit. Or fall out, as they call it. No, you should be, bam, on to the next one. And bam, on to that next one. There are no time for fallout, no time to stop and rest. you got to be plugging towards your next event, your next pay-per-view. Your next storyline. So, they got to have something big the night after Mania. There's a lot of people saying that Finn Balor is going to debut the night after Mania. There's a lot of people saying some of Joe. There's talk of Mick Foley returning to WrestleMania. It's going to be a hell of a Mania this year. For as fucked up as the card is, and as many injuries as we have, like Big Show got injured last night. Now I'm hearing Big Show's injured. Jeez Louise, man. Why don't they just call this Cripple Mania? <laughs> as well as the WWE Hall of Fame segment now we're going to have the WWE injury segment where everybody's going to wheel out on their wheelchairs and their crutches and their canes and shit and get out there and wave to the crowd and say, just so they can get a Wrestlemania payday <laughs> I, they need to pull something out of their ass and they need to pull it out quick and they need to can stay with it don't just go to you know, like I said, you, two weeks after Mania, you got that European tour. So you know what jackasses those guys over in the UK are going to be. No offense to anybody in the UK, but WrestleMania or the NXT London special. Well, we showed you guys how to chant. No, you showed us how to sit there and disrupt a wrestling show up until the main event. You were pretty good during the main event, but come on, they're going to go over there and be, you know, be bombarded by by that bullshit. And little Timmy is going to be sitting at home going, why are they booing Roman Reigns? Until two weeks later, like I said, when they go to somewhere like Sandusky, Ohio, and, and, and little Timmy is sitting in the front row cheering Roman Reigns. I'm telling you, that's their reasoning for it. They don't care. They, they already know what crowds are going to do what. Maybe they did not expect Detroit to do what they did, but it's a major city, kind of a major city in the U.S.,
So when they hit these major cities and they, you know, get bombarded by smart marks, we, we've told people it was coming. We've been saying it. The online wrestling community, the YouTube wrestling community, the YWC, anyway, <laughs> we've been saying it for years that the casual fan has evolved into the smart mark fan. Anyway, let me know what you think in the comments below. This video has gone way too long. What do you think about WrestleMania not selling out? What do you think about the way their crowds are doing? What do you think about the plan for the crowds? Do you think Vince is just going to say, okay, we've got to get through these next few, this next month or two, and then it's right back to the same old crap? Let me know what you think in the comments below. I'm going to be doing some radio with Jeff Edwards this week, hopefully. Don't know right when that when, when that is yet, but I'm going to bring all this up to him as well and see what get his opinion on it because there's a lot of truth to what I'm saying, folks. You may not think it's the right truth, but there is a shred of, of absolute in there. You can't deny it. Anyway, guys, this is Joe White. We'll see you down the road.